Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK and another vlog. As you can see from this, this is a cocktails vlog. Uh, we're in lockdown, the coronavirus is causing havoc worldwide, internationally. Um, can't leave our, leave our houses or things, which means that uh, Amazon is sort of our best friend right now. Uh, I have the kind of personality that means that I become obsessed with things and I recently became obsessed with cocktails. Um, I've been subscribed to a channel How To Drink for a while, which I enjoy. Um, and then I recently saw, I think it was Epicurious's video where they did like a hundred cocktail recipes or something or every cocktail recipe. It was a really long video and that's basically what did it. I was like, you stuff it, you know, screw it. Um, so I bought the, the cocktail kit which was £20, just under £20 from Amazon, which I thought was quite good. Comes with the shaker, some tweezy things, some bottle cap syrupy blahs, uh, this muddler which you can also use to hammer the ice, um, bottle opener, strainer, um, twizzle, straw thing, uh, the measure and crucially this thing that holds it all in. Um, so on top of all of that stuff I bought creme de cacao, chocolate liqueur, bitters uh, and I've bought a few different kinds of alcohol recently which includes like cheap knockoff Malibu, um, cheap knockoff archers, peach snaps, cherries and sugar syrup and whatnot. So this vlog is going to be basically um, don't know how to describe it really. It's going to be going through my journey of trying to learn to, to become a good cocktail maker. So, I'm going to make two cockles. Cockles, <laughs> Cock cockles we call him. Not to his face. Um, not in front of his wife. Um, <laughs> office references. So I'm going to make two. I'm going to make what is like a violet and coconut soury thing and a MJ version of 20th century. Now 20th century is basically lemon and chocolate and it uses white creme de cacao. Uh, mine's the MJ version because I don't have white, nor do I have proper gin. I've got unicorn gin, which is like notes of um, marshmallow and, and it's also like gin liqueur, it's not proper gin. Anyway, let's see how this goes. So this first one I'm gonna do is the 20th century. So I'm gonna serve that in this, which is totally the wrong kind of glass to serve in. Right, 50ml of my unicorn gin liqueur. Nice sound. 50ml of creme de cacao. Ooh, it's already got a plungery thing in. That's interesting. Oh, it smells good. Oh, this is making me proper feel like a proper cocktail person. Ooh, that smells amazing. Wow, so that that's so cool. It, it pokes back up, look. So it literally boop, pops out. Pops out and go, goes back in. I'm a big fan of that. 25ml lemon juice. By the way, 50ml, 25ml. I've got fresh lemon juice here. enough and you just serve that with a lemon twist not much alcohol in there is there or just not much of a drink really is it ice and then shake problem is guys I'm a weakling and this gets so cold and it hurts my hands So numb. I need to learn to do the thing they actually do where they like hit it to break the seal. It actually does work because the coldness creates a seal, to my understanding. Strainer. Oh, it smells really good. Here we go. Ooh. It smells really good. And then just a lemon twist. The oils out and serve. Cheers. <sighs> Smells interesting. So this is what MJ's 20th century. Here we go. Wow. 
Wow. Very interesting, very nice, quite strong. Stronger than the usual kind I would go for, but wow. The aromas of that lemon is absolutely insane. I can see why they squeeze all the oils out now. Like, when you put your nose in there, all you can smell is lemon. Pardon. The actual cocktail itself is um, obviously sour with lemon. Very sweet. So it certainly wouldn't need any sweetener. I think that's because the unicorn gin is so sweet itself anyway. Warming with the alcohol. Yeah, it's like the perfect blend of chocolate and um, lemon, basically. It's a weird one, but it's nice. Mm. Right, round two. So this next one uses an egg. So this is what's sort of known as a sour, to my understanding. Don't quote me on this. Um, but you use an egg to make it frothy, basically. So use an egg white to be more specific. Good, I've cracked the egg in the wrong way, so that's good. Immediately failed. Hopefully this is still not a problem. Just gonna put it into my hand. There we go, that's fine. I'll make a custard with that, with the yolk. So I've just put in the sink. Sorry, Wait, wasteful. I'm sorry, wasteful. I'm not making a custard, guys. Right, now, this recipe didn't actually say to do this, although it's partly my own recipe anyway, to be honest. And I can't find the, uh, the end of that, that's good. Brilliant, already lost thing. I've literally lost at the end of that. Yes, yeah, so this recipe didn't actually say to do this, but every other recipe that I've seen online has told you to shake the egg white first with nothing in. What they call a dry shake, so no ice or anything. Just to start the frothing process. It sort of feels like it's not doing anything. That's enough of that. Yeah, it's frothed up a bit, frothed up a bit. So this one, 25 ml of syrup. In. 50 ml of coconut rum. <laughs> 50 ml of my violet gin liqueur. This is the uh, same brand as the unicorn one that I used, the Illusionist. It's the Aldi one that's all shimmery. Oh man, it looks so good. Look at this. Let me try and catch it in the light. I don't know if you can see that because I've got a fluffy thing in the way. Yeah, you can probably see it. I'm not certain, can you see that? It's good stuff, I really like it. The egg white, 50 ml of lemon juice. That sounds like a lot, I'm gonna use 25. 25 ml lemon juice. and a splash of soda water. I'm gonna put a tiny bit in now, and a tiny bit in at the end. Right, here we go. Oh my God, the pressure, it's like forcing the lid off, and it's so freaking cold I have to do this, which is pathetic, but. Strainer. Oh. Wow, it certainly does look frothy. It looks insane, to be honest. Okay, it's calmed down a little. It's totally lost its purple color. Right, let's go for this then, the violet and coconut sour. Wow. Oh, wow, that is really nice. Oh, I didn't top it up with soda water. Shit. It sort of doesn't need it, but I will. Just for bounce. That's it, just a little squeeze. Mm. That's better than the first one, actually. It's not very strong. I don't think any of the, so what, the, the violet is like 20%. The coconut bay, the Malibu ripoff is 15, so this isn't very high in alcohol at all. Mm. Oh, the egg whites make it really velvety, frothy. Obviously, you've got the froth on top. Mm. 
which is really nice. It's slightly sour from the lemon. The main flavour is coconut, but with a lovely violet aftertaste. And it's on my lips. Yeah. Mmm. That's really, really nice. Big fan of that one. So that's it, guys. That is part one of this cocktail update slash the cocktail journey. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite cocktails are. I'm going to make them for sure. I'm going to try loads of things. I'm slowly building my alcohol collection, so I've bought some whiskies in. And what else we got coming? Oh, have you seen the new Disterano Velvet? I might do um, a review and like make some cocktails with that one. So that looks amazing. It's like a creamy version of um, Disserano. So yeah, those those aren't arrived yet. They should arrive on Monday. Those 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 aren't arrived yet. Those haven't arrived yet. <laughs> but I think I'm buzzing. That was really good. Thank you for watching. I I'm acting as if I'm drunk. I am a lightweight, but I'm not drunk. Um, not yet. Yeah. See you in half hour when I'm at the bottom of these. <laughs> no, kidding. Thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, let me know what your favourite cocktails are in the comments below because I really want to try making them. And this is definitely going to be part one of a series. Now that I've made a few and I'm really happy with the results, I'm eager to try more. Take it easy.